So at first we have, we don't know who we are. So we have to go engage with this process to start to refine that. And through many, many, many iterations of this, we start to get increasing clarity of who I am at many levels. So at first we may get increasing clarity of who I am at the level of this personality. And oftentimes people in certain kinds of spiritual uh, philosophies, people will dismiss the personality as, uh, as, as something that's not real or that's delusional or that's uh, the enemy in some way that, that you know, they'll say that the personality or is the ego and the ego is the enemy. So we should just try and get rid of that. We should never try and do anything to support the, the, the ego or the personality. We, instead, we should try and, and uh, chip away at it. We should try and get rid of it. So if the personality has desires, we should deny those desires. And I'm proposing that um, if that works well for you, then fantastic. But if it doesn't work well for you, then reconsider that maybe there's another way. Uh, so I don't view that, that all the desires uh, of the personality and that knowledge of the personality is problematic or antithetical to true spiritual uh, knowledge. I think that they, they are complementary. I think they can go well together. The problem is when we simply mindlessly indulge the desires of the personality without having any clarity about whether those are uh, authentic desires of the personality, because if we don't do that, then we're not actually getting much clarity about whether those are who the personality is. And if we don't have any clarity about who the personality is, then we're going to tend to stay at that superficial level instead of getting uh, increasing interest in who is behind the personality. Who is this that is aware of the personality? Who is this that the personality emerges from? Uh, so the way I see it is that having knowledge of the personality is a useful aspect of the process and it's only one part of it it's not the totality so we we can have we can gain self knowledge at the level of the personality what do i want what are my strengths what are my weaknesses what am i here for what are my gifts what are, what are, what are the desires that gave rise to this lifetime and then that can also lead us to have more curiosity and therefore more knowledge of ourselves as that which is uh, not a personality, that which is the, the we could say, the uh, consciousness in, in which the personality is arising. So these, these are two broad categories of, of the self that we can gain awareness of and knowledge of through experience. So I believe that having, gaining, gaining mastery over experience is useful. And so uh, that's a lot of what I talk about because I, I think that that's useful. It's not just about uh, trying to renounce the world and deny the self and these, these sorts of things, because I've just found that those approaches don't tend to work very well for people who still have bills to pay and uh, children to care for and things like that. So um, for those, the, the rest of us in this world, then this way that I'm proposing, I think works better. So that's the, the overall context of the meeting is to support you in your self knowledge uh, through the path of experience. So having more, we'll say mindful experience, conscious experience, where you're aware of the desires the knowledge, the action, and that whole process so that will continue to give you more refined self-knowledge. 